Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online Shadowbringers. In the last episode, we dealt with the entity that emerged from Gaia and the mass of flying Sin Eaters that had gathered around it as we got through that battle. And Gaia was incapacitated after the fight, but did eventually wake back up, and then we discussed our plans for the next element, which is going to be ice, which is the last element we need to rebalance. And so, since Shiva was summoned kind of into a vessel uh, in the source, uh, Reen has volunteered to be the vessel uh, here. Not really sure why that needs to be the case, but she's volunteered, she wants to do it, so that's what we're doing. So, we need to head into Eden's Verse Refulgence and uh, proceed with dealing with Shiva. So, go ahead and get right on to it and see how this goes. So, we're going to go ahead and Duty Finder up and go into Eden's Verse Refulgence and then we'll see how things go. Hopefully, uh, we will be through the queue quite quickly because I am doing this on the day because this is the you know the like the primary you know eight man raid going on right now and so the the loot tables reset every week on Tuesday so this is when everybody's doing it so this is the best time to try to run them is kind of in the evening on Tuesday of the week. I call upon the power of Shiva. So that's Reen's version of Shiva. No! She's lost control! You've got to stop her! I figured as much. Alright, so let's see. Alright, let's have the other tanks in it. Way. Such impudence. Alright, get away from that. Ah, I got hit. And then there should be a donut AoE. Grant me strength. I got thrown off. And both the tanks got knocked off, so, uh... Well... I need to take this over here. Alright, and then... 
got these AoEs. They're gonna chase me. This isn't exactly going smoothly. Oh, the, the mirrors are up. Okay. Alright, so when she does a skill, the mirrors are gonna reflect it. The light shall usher in peace. Right, we'll redress again. To look away from. Such oh, impudence. I turned around too quickly. This is where we get split up, and then we gotta deal with things that are gonna try and hit that crystal. Healer's got to keep us up because that crystal's going to be putting out a lot of group-wide damage. Alright, so now we should be back on the platform. in each of these. Let's just do a mirror mirror again. Okay, this time it's going to be from everyone. Alright, just do an axe kick. Okay. Freezing the platform. Alright, so she's doing that, and then she's doing that. We need to get out of the way of it. Alright, 
Somebody, I think, is using the limit break. The light shall usher in peace. Is, uh, and again, look away until that light pulses, and then you can look back. Okay. Damn this light! Damn it all! All right, now we're just gonna need to burn it down as fast as possible. I want to see what tomorrow will bring. There we go. Hopefully she's okay. All right, Eden's, ver Eden's verse complete. All right, now I got a uh, loot on stuff. Well, we're just gonna roll neat on everything and see what we get. Well, I got to pass on that now, but I can need on the minion. Probably won't get the minion. Nope. All right. Reen. You were there. I heard you. What happened to Shiva? Is she still in control? No, she's gone. But Gaia... What? That hammer... It matches your dress. Interesting thing to notice. I see you're back to your normal idiotic self. Look, isn't it pretty? Maybe we could take it with us. Mm, ice tends to melt, you know. Not this sort. 
Well, if you say so. Anyway, it might even make a nice necklace. That's a brilliant idea. Right, wilt thou not rush to her aid? Perhaps I'm getting slow at my old age because it would seem Gaia's beaten me to it. To think that she would be the one to break the ice. Um. They may have gotten off to a rocky start, but I think they make quite the pair. Is that a hint of melancholy I detect in thy voice? Something akin to a pining mother bird whose chicks have flown the nest? Father bird, if you don't mind, but I, you're not entirely wrong. Still, when the day finally comes to say goodbye, it heartens me to know she won't be alone. After that, we can go to the second serving for coffee biscuits. Still on about the coffee biscuits. Fine, you win. And there anything less than perfection itself, I'll never let you live it down. If they're not to your liking, there are plenty of other things to try. I suppose we both deserve a little treat after all that hard work. We certainly do. Alright, there we were, laughing as if we had not a care in the world, fleeting though it was. In that moment, I was content. My life was never meant to be so simple. All right, well, let's go ahead and finish this up here. I'm so sorry, everyone. I clearly have a long way to go before I can handle that kind of power. But we achieved what we set out to do, as I had faith we would. So without further ado, let's return to camp and admire our work. Uh, I'll just pick one of those. Alright, yeah, let's see if there's any significant change. Well, green. It's life. Alright. Interesting. Alright. Rena's ecstatic to see the first signs of greenery in the empty. I can feel all the revitalized elements working in harmony. I've always believed Eden had the power to restore the empty, but I never expected it to happen so quickly. Uh, let's see. You're the one who made it all possible. Sure, we'll go with that. You ran into a few problems with Shiva, to say the least, but the others all went more or less according to plan. Uh, that we were able to come so far along this arduous journey may rightly be attributed to thine unwavering resolve. I, when you said that you reclaim this world, you truly meant it. We're proud of you, Reen. Indeed. Hmm, I wonder if the effects from the rebalanced ether will spread to the rest of the empty. 
Perhaps we'll just have to wait and see. Besides, I'm sure we could all do with a rest. I must say, Reen, it's a refreshing to see you take a more measured approach for a change. Well, if my experience, eh, well, if my experience has uh, here has taught uh, me anything, it's that I shouldn't rush into things unprepared. And I've also learned that there are some problems that can't be solved alone. Is that so? Since you freed me from Yulmore, I've met all sorts of kind people who've gone another way to help me. I thought that I should do everything in my power to repay their kindness and make the world a better place. But now, more than ever, I realize that there's a limit to what I can achieve by myself. Even though I was able to summon Shiva, I couldn't control such vast amounts of ether. If a guy hadn't been there for me, I might never have returned to normal. I can say the same about you. I was trapped in a nightmare, but you freed me. It seems we're more alike than I thought. We might not be able to do everything by ourselves, but if we look out for each other, then we can face our problems together. That's if you don't mind. No, it's fine, really. If things don't work out, we can always go our separate ways. But on the other hand, if I can resist the urge to punch you whenever you annoy me, which I must say is quite often, I have no objections to staying around. You mean it? Oh, thank you, Gaia. May I suggest we continue this conversation in Amarang? Though the empty may now support the foliage, the land's normalization hath but begun, and to linger over long still entaileth risks. Is aught the matter, Thancred? Nothing you need worry about. Let's go. Hmm. Alright, here we are back in Amarang. Alright, before we do anything else, we should report to Yalfert. He'll want to know how we've been getting on in the empty. Speaking of Mordsuk, there was a snack of some sort that caught my eye last time. I can't quite describe it, but it looked squidgy. Despite a strong suspicion that I may live to regret it, I could try one. Oh, I think I know the one you meant. You mean. They might not look I might be, ugh, they might not be much to look at, but I bet they taste amazing. Perhaps we could also try a pot of those jellied wrigglers or whatever they're called. I'll even let you take the first bite. Ew, no thank you. First coffee big, uh, first coffee biscuits, now worms and jelly. Heavens forbid the two of you might actually eat some proper food. Yummy, may I ask a favor of thee? While Stankrid and I returned unto the Crystarium to inform our comrades of our recent exploits, I would have the accompany Reen and Gaia to Mordsuk. Alright, so I guess we're off to Mordsuk to finish this up for now. Alright, so over here, and I guess we'll be talking to Yalfert. There he is. I trust all is well, Miss Gaia. It will be once we get out of this desert town. 
If I have to spend another night in that dingy little room, I shall scream. I'm terribly sorry to hear that the accommodation was less than satisfactory. I'll investigate the availability of more comfortable lodgings post-haste. Yes, I think we'll be staying in Mordsuk, at least for the time being. It might take a while for me to write the report, as our expedition was rather eventful. Ayame, I really appreciate everything you've done, and I'm sorry for all the trouble I've put you through. Still fretting about that, are you? What's done is done. Besides, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? You're right. Now, how about that treat we promised ourselves? They might not have coffee biscuits here, but I've heard the regular cakes are to die for. Or was that you'll die from eating them? Uh, only one way to find out, I guess. Alright, I'm sure trying the local delicacies will keep us occupied between writing reports and thinking about the next plan of action. Hopefully, we'll have another chance to visit the empty to see how things are coming along. And don't even think about leaving me behind. Certainly not. Okay, well. Yulford is a bearer of tidings of some description. Well, let's just go ahead and keep on going. Good news, or at least it has the potential to be good news. I've received word from Master Orianger. Unfortunately, the message was rather thin on details. He only requested that you return to the Crystarium and meet him at the Wandering Stairs. Not the most likely of places for important meetings, but I suppose you might be able to squeeze in a pint or two while you're there. Alright, so back to the Crystarium. Alright, so it's going to be the Wandering Stairs, which is the bar. Which I could have taken the Ethernet, but... I'll just, uh... Hoof it over on foot. Alright, so there's our destination. Alright, pray accept mine apologies for calling thee hither at such short notice. The matter I wish to discuss is of considerable import. If it was that urgent, wouldn't it be quicker to use those Link Pearl things Reen's been telling me about? These are words best delivered in person. Did something happen to the empty? Not that doth warrant our immediate attention. The elements are in a state of equilibrium, and the propagation of flora continues apace. So what's this about, then? As thou art aware, we are not of this world, hailing from what is referred to as the Source. However, unlike Ayame, Thankreda and I exist only as ether given corporeal form. Our bodies remaineth in the Source, though the thread that binds us to them doth grow weaker with the passage of time. And if you stay here too long, you might never be able to return. Precisely. Now, with the wheels of change in the empty set in motion, we believe this a fitting juncture to take our leave. We shall but regret not being present to see the transformation reach its completion. That hardly seems worth losing your bodies over, though. If you have to go back to your own world, who are we to stop you? I always knew this day would come, I just...
You'll still have Gaia and Ayame. Yep, we can still move back and forth. I know that you'll see this through to the end together. We will. I may not be half the woman Menphilia was, but I have friends I can turn to. They might be brutally honest in their opinion at times. Or prefer to save their words and let their actions do the talking, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Just promise you won't transform into a crazy ice lady and try to kill me. Again. <laughs> nah, we won't let you down. Though I can't see what the future might bring, no doubt Reen and Gaia will need your support in the days to come. Alas, the mysteries surrounding the fairy are yet to be solved. Whether thou shouldst find the answers that thou seekest, or nay, lend not thine ears to its honeyed words, for thy will is thine own, never forget this. I won't. The time of our departure is at hand, yet know that no matter where we may be, we shall ever, oh, ever shall we pray for your success. And with Orianji and Thancred set to lead the first, it seems wise to share this development with Yolfert, who will continue to oversee expeditions into the empty. So I wonder if they're setting it up that uh, we'll figure out how to get them back to the uh, source before we'll be continuing with the rest of the, uh, the Eden Raid. Hmm. We shall see. Alright, so back to Mordsuk and we'll talk to Yalfort to finish this one off and see if this is the last quest in the chain that's currently, well, available. All right, you're back sooner than expected. Is everything all right? Oh dear, that's rather unfortunate. I dare say it's something jolly important to leave them in such a hurry. In any case, I wish the best the re oh, wish them the best of luck wherever their work may take them. I shall remain here and hold the fort as it were, and make the necessary provisions should any further forays into the empty be required. Safe travels, Mistress Ayame. Indeed. All right, so that is all of the Eden raid that is available at the time of this recording. So I'm going to have to make some decisions about what it is that we're going to do moving forward. Um, but uh, I'll probably post a video about that uh, sometime later, maybe in a few days. All right, but for now, we'll go ahead and stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.